And what do we do as far as making it a fraction? Yeah, divide. So divide it by that number. But let them know also like those skills in the Discover Away are just unique characteristics that are going to make them great at whatever they choose to do. Whether they stick with math, which I love, or go into anything else. We're working hard to give their child the best education they can possibly receive. Clark, if you're a pair. Yeah, yeah, so you had to make it a yes no question though, right? So like, do you have brown, do, does your person have brown hair, right? Yeah. What's the other question? I mean, it's great to, you know, if they, if they learn something from the lesson that, that they really um, identify with, you know, that's great. Or if they can share about what, you know, maybe the learning target was that day, you know, those are always really neat things, but I think, you know, again, it, for me, the relationships are just, it'd be most important to me if they came home and just said, man, I, I just, I'll enjoy being in his class because I know I'm noticed and I know I'm important. I mean, that's, that's where the, until that, you know, the relation, some students will just, they'll learn because they're there and that's what you're supposed to do. But um, some students, you, you need to, they need to know they're cared about before they'll do the learning. So opening up that relationship, I think goes a long way in um, making the learning you happen. You have to ask mathematical questions. You could also just try to maybe... Uh, you know, I tell my students uh, quite, quite frequently, you know, that I want them to learn math, but, um, you know, some of the skills like that, they go along with the expectations we have at the school, or, you know, I just think the Discover Way is great because it's a clear, um, a, a clear message to our students that, you know, learning is the priority, but if we could pick some things to, to give you or equip you with as you go, especially from high school, we get to see that transition from high school into the work or college life. And so if we can, um, if there's some things that we can equip you with, or like I said, math's just part of it. There's English, there's all kinds of other subjects, you know, those are just part of it. If we can equip you with a good work ethic and honesty and commitment and discipline, that's gonna, all those things will take you so much farther than this maybe my math course. And just let them know there's a bigger picture. You know, what we do each day is important and uh, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't, but, um, but let them know also like those skills like you mentioned uh, and, and the Discover Away are just unique characteristics that are gonna make them great at whatever they choose to do. Whether they stick with math, which I love, or go into anything else. What do we make? Equation. Know that uh, every day we have the best um, uh, like the, the high, high expectations for their, their student, uh, for their child, um, and that we always have their best interest at heart, um, even though sometimes it, it shows up as a positive feedback or positive part of the re relationship. Sometimes it can feel negative because there's some constructive con criticism that we have to grow from um, with some of that, that aspect. But um, yeah, I think just those, those two things, I mean, just know that we're working hard to give their child the best education they can possibly receive. And um, again, that we're just working hard. The foundation of that is just a, a relationship and knowing, making sure that every student knows we care about them. Uh, um, I don't know, there's not a whole lot else to me besides uh, math teacher and baseball coach, but sometimes, I don't know, maybe uh, having a sense of humor, I guess, uh, is helpful to sometimes diffu diffuse things with students or, um, again, just show kind of a different side of you. Not that my humor is always the same as my ninth grade students, but, um, but even with colleagues, just kind of, uh, I don't know, just having that um, to relate, I guess, and um, not probably as, maybe not a surprising skill or something other people don't have, but certainly something I try to use, uh, otherwise you might just go crazy or get too frustrated too often, so you gotta have that a little bit. Right, let's try to do, it's about, we got one more minute. Okay, well, one of the minute, things I like most in my algebra right, class is mostly freshmen, and I teach a college algebra course that um, a lot of those kids that are freshmen kind of come back around to their senior year. So it's just, it is neat. And, uh, not that I had anything or much to do with it because they obviously just grow up and mature, but it sure is fun and just rewarding to see, like, just, just knowing that even though maybe freshman year it wasn't, you know, they weren't quite where that you wanted to be, whether it was for their math skills or any school skill or expectations, it's cool to see them 
come back around and, and have those things in place just due to the, you know, the work of our staff and our administrators and all the people at school or outside of school that are pouring into their lives and help them you know, get to that spot after those few years. It's cool getting to see them, you know, seeing kids after high school too and um, just having those relationships that whether it's just passing by them at Walmart or they come back to the school for a, maybe a, an event and you see them there and just getting to catch up a little bit and hearing that they've been able to be successful and not because it's math but because of some of those skills from the Discover Way that we've been able to, that just our staff and ever since they were in preschool people have been able to influence and um, share with them and pass along the way. Um, what about a tree? A tree starts at four feet and grows four feet you know, every day, every month, every year, something like that.